Hello students, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today, I will discuss about the differences between young fold mountains and old fold mountains. So let's begin. Before going to know the differences, let's know about fold mountains. Fold mountains are tectonically originated mountains, which are formed due to compressional force caused by plate movements. When two or more plates move towards each other, then heavy compressional force generates by which accumulated sediments between two plates get cemented and folded upward and forms fold mountain. Fold mountains are two types. They are young fold mountains and old fold mountains. Let's know the differences between young fold mountains and old fold mountains. Young fold mountains originated recently. Young fold mountains building took place about 25 million years ago. Himalaya, Rocky, Andes all are young fold mountains. But old fold mountains were formed long time ago. They were formed about more than 200 million years ago. Aravalli, Ural, Appalachian, all are the examples of old fold mountains. Young fold mountains are very much higher than old fold mountains. World's highest mountains, Himalaya, is an young fold mountains. Height of an young fold mountains increases with time as they are tectonically active and their formation process is still going on. A few years ago, height of the Everest was 8,848 meters. But recent data shows that height of the Everest is right now 8,850 meters. Which means height of the Everest increases 2 meters. But height of old fold mountains decreases with time as their formation process has been stopped and erosional process is going on. Most of the young fold mountains have a sharp and pointed peak. But most of the old fold mountains have a rounded shape peak. Young fold mountains have very steep slope and deep valley means rocked relief as denudation process undergoes for a short period. But old fold mountains have comparatively gentle slope and shallow valleys which means comparatively smooth relief as denudation process undergoes for a long period. Due to greater altitude, most of the peaks of young fold mountains remains always snow covered as like Himalayan mountain peaks. But due to less height, most of the peaks of old fold mountains remains without snow covered, as like peaks of Aravalli in India. Young fold mountains are liable to earthquake and volcanic activities, as their formation process is still active. Himalayan mountain region is very much earthquake prone area. But old fold mountains are comparatively less earthquake and volcanic activities prone area, as their formation process is over. Hope you all understand all the differences clearly. Thanks for watching.